I wanted to show you how to use SALT, a statistical analysis and learning tool by Cengage. Now, Cengage is a textbook publisher and they've integrated this in with some of their other products. But the important thing I want you to know is that you can actually use this without having to log in or pay for anything. So I'm gonna show you how to get there. The first one is to note that it's built into WebAssign. And so if you just search WebAssign and SALT, it'll pop right up, okay? So we're gonna click on that. And you can upload your data set as a CSV. So if you have an Excel file, just make sure you save it as a comma delimited file, a CSV to upload it. I'm gonna use one of the data sets that's just from their like textbook setup here. I'm gonna use this. When you upload a uh, set of data, it lets you choose which variables you want. You can put up to 20 of them up into SALT at the same time. And you can tell it whether it's numerical or categorical data. All right, so we have this data set and it's years and, and city and highway miles per gallon. Okay, so that alone isn't very useful. However, as I go to descriptive statistics, boom, just like that, it gives me a lot of useful statistics, like the mean, the standard deviation, the sample size, minimums, it tells me uh, proportions, uh, the quartiles, the maximums. There's a bunch in here, okay? There's a couple that they could add, like population. Now, I want you to jump over to charts and graphs, and there's all these things on charts and graphs, histogram, box plot, dot plot, and each one, at first, will look like it doesn't work, okay? None of them work, but let's take box plot, for example. It says, in our little message here, to create a box plot, select a numerical variable in settings. So over here on the left, I'm gonna pick the year, and then I'm gonna pick city, okay? Now, because I picked a variable and a grouping variable, um, I now have the years, A and B, compared to each other. And so this is a way I could create these side-by-side -side box plots, which are really, really uh, nice to have. And you'll notice that they even note which ones are the outliers right there, okay? Now let's say I wanna go over to dot plot. It says to create a dot plot, you need a numerical data. So I'm not gonna pick a year, but I might pick highway miles per gallon. Look at this. I have a great dot plot that shows me this. Oh, we have a, a right skewed dot plot. You could do scatter plot if you had an X and a Y. So we could say highway and city. You could even graph for a bar graph, okay, or a pie chart. Let's say I wanted to do here. And if we do that, we could see this pie chart just like that. So there's lots of good stuff that we can do to use SALT to help our, us make these charts and graphs or to get these descriptive statistics, okay? There's other things that we're gonna see in SALT that are useful, but when it comes to just looking at data and getting some of the basic descriptive statistics and visualizing that, uh, this is a great tool that's able to use on any computer. We don't need to install anything and it's free.